Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put a 31 tiller onto your 110, 112, 200 series garden tractor. I'm going to be using this 1969 112 but it is the same on all of them. I picked this thing up uh, a week ago maybe, a little more, to get running and put a tiller on. It does smoke really bad. I'm hoping when I start working it, getting it hot, putting it under load, It'll start to fix itself, but we'll find out. If you guys have been here watching, you already will have seen the video of me getting this tractor running and driving. I just brought it over here yesterday, and I've made the decision just to throw this on it. I had found a 12 horse engine I was going to put in this, and just go that route. But the guy didn't want to sell it at a reasonable price, so... We're just going to put the tailor on it and hope for the best. So this over here is your mule drive. This goes under the center of the tractor. Right about here. The front belt goes up to the tractor PTO. And then the other pulley on this thing runs back to the tiller with this belt. Don't ask for a belt length, guys. Uh, you need the specific John Deere belt for it to run the best, so just go to Deer and ask, or go to Deer's parts website, find the part number and get it off like eBay or something. There is other brand belts, which I think that one is, that are still the same as Deer. Uh, they have Deer's part number, and they don't work as good as Deer, but uh, it's cheaper if you wanted a cheaper alternative. So, Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is back the tractor over the tiller here and start to clip the tiller on. Alright, to clip the tiller on, you got to have these pins pulled out and then the bottom just rests on these little studs with spacers just kind of bring it in here and it should fit but I put my wheels narrow so it is going to be tight so I'm going to have to unclip these or clip these in in order to get my tire in past the wheel. All right, I decided to just remove the tire that was being trouble. Put it back on later. You see how this is slid over this? This pin would slip right into that hole once we get it lined up. Okay, tiller's clipped on. You want to have this pulley loose so you can move it up and down because that'll tighten the top of the belt. Now let's put the lift bar on. It goes from this point right here on the tiller. Up in to this point on the tractor and I'm not going to be able to film while I do that so I'm just going to put it in the top hole up there and then our lift will be set up all right I have it pinned in you do have to have your hydraulic lift all the way down for this so if you're a manual lift you just put your lever forward hydraulic lift you're supposed to pull up to go down, push down to go up. Yes, I know it's kind of backward. That's just how it's supposed to be. But if you don't like that, you can easily switch it by putting this line over here and this line over here. You just switch the two lines and then that would be down. That would be up, but that's backwards. Now that the tiller is completely fastened on the back, we got clipped on on both sides. And the lift done. 
we need to get the mule drive put on. So let's do that. This is the mule drive. You have to put it in just like this from the other side. And then this pin here sits in that hole. So watch this, I'll set it in. Then you come over to this side. And this side just pins in. And uh, I can't see because I'm trying to keep my head out of you guys' way. Put that in there. It's on there. This is what it looks like underneath. Pinned up. Okay, so the large pulley on the inside goes to the engine. The smaller one on the outside goes to the tiller. So you'll have to take off your side shield. Well, that's slightly custom, but it'll buff. Well, if somebody was a real genius, put washers on this one. Make it so you can't get it apart. You should just be able to take this off. Just slide it back. But some jackass put a washer on here. Right here. So now you can't get it off. So don't do that. If uh, you're someone that puts washers on there, quit that. You know, I got engrossed in fighting with it and completely forgot to film it. But I do have the belt on here in the correct spot. So it goes on the inside one here. The next one in is for the hydraulic lift. This one is to mount like a mower deck, tiller, uh, mid-mounted stuff. This one's for a snow blower or a front PTO kit or whatever. Now you just have to route these belts around these pulleys. This one on the back of the engine here just goes around this pulley like this, kind of underneath of it. And then this side just goes also on the back side but of this pulley, like that. And then I can take that back and put it on the big pulley right there. Then you just want to tighten this front up. Normally it's supposed to have a little knob, but this guy just has a bolt with a nut. So tighten this up and that'll put tension on that belt and keep it tight. You just want to keep the belt nice and tight. Now the rear tiller belt will go on this pulley here. You want to make sure that the tiller is spinning the correct direction. Unfortunately with these, I believe the correct direction is with the tractor. So spinning this way. I would rather it be spinning the other way, but I think that it's meant to go this way by the looks of these tines. See how that one's on the flow? So I need to decide, it looks like I need to clean this out, dang. I'm gonna just hook it up one way and I'm gonna see what happens. Cause I'd really kinda like to spin it backwards. I'm not sure how that'll work though. So you come up here, like I said, this pulley's gotta be loose so that the belt can pull it up. Everything goes underneath the axle. I'm going to get that belt in here. There we go. Oh. Yeah. And I'm just going to turn this. 
pop that belt on there. All right. Now to tighten the belt and get the slack out of it, you just push this pulley down as much as you can till the belt gets tight. Tighten this bolt up. I'm gonna fire the tractor up and pick the tiller up and we're gonna check directions before we get into that. All right, so like I said, this pulley didn't wanna spin the way I needed it to. I went checked and it was locked up. It was just spinning on the bushing. Didn't look like it'd been doing it last year, so probably it just sat over the winter and didn't like that. So now it's lubricated up. It's not tight as it needs to be. I don't want to put a ton of load on it yet. I'm going to get it spin and get things under load. And uh, I want to figure out if I'm going to be able to turn it this way. So let's fire this smoke machine back up and smoke ourselves back out again. Alright guys, so finally, gotten everything put together, not scraping and screeching. It's turning backwards. You see how this belt's meant to be twisted this way, to be turning the other way. I want to try it like this. And I literally just started this tractor. It hasn't been running maybe 30 seconds. 45 seconds and uh, this barn's already filled so this thing's great but doing its thing now so time to put the wheel back on and finally oh well there's our problem I figured I have the idle both jets all the way in to have it run. So I guess I'll tinker with that, then put the wheel back on and uh, go from there. All right, y'all, you saw me put it on. Let's give her a shot. Remember, it's turning backwards, so it may not work correctly. But if I can get the teeth to dig, it should work better than if it was turning the correct way turning the correct way it's just driving with the tractor this way it's pulling against the tractor drive so let's find out what it'll do so pop it over into low gear turn it on Back. We're back. Spinning the opposite way now. 